The circumstances surrounding my pregnancy and my illegal abortion was that I was 13 at the time and obviously that was unheard of. Um, and I was living with my father because my parents were previously divorced. So, so yeah, uh, scared, 13 and no one to talk to me. Um, the place I went to um, was the flyers that they have stuck up everywhere and on the streets and on the walls and the poles and stuff. Free legal abortion, safe, 100% same day. No, uh, yeah, that was one of those places. Well, when I got there, everything was all a bit surreal and um, it was, I was like in a zombie mode. <laughs> um, they was dodgy, um, very dodgy. Mm -hmm. No gloves, no, you know, there was blood around. Uh, I really wanted to like scream and run out, but I knew that I had no other option, so this was it. Um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was out of this world, really. Um, I think she used like kitchen, kitchen utensils, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, and like a vacuum cleaner. And then, um, yeah, I think she flushed the feet of down the toilet. A few years later, I did find out that I had cancer. And uh, they did do a scan. Um, and the doctor actually said to me that it looked as though someone had taken a pitchfork and a rake to my womb.